Lenin's vanguard party in democratic centralism, revolutionizing political organization. Vladimir Lenin, a central figure in the Russian Revolution of 1917, not only shaped the course of history but also revolutionized political organization with his concepts of the vanguard party in democratic centralism. These two intertwined ideas formed the core of Lenin's strategy to achieve a successful socialist revolution and establish a new order. This video delves into the intricacies of Lenin's vanguard party and democratic centralism, explaining their significance, principles, and implications. The vanguard party guiding the revolution. At the heart of Lenin's political philosophy lies the concept of the vanguard party, a highly organized, disciplined, and revolutionary party composed of dedicated and educated revolutionaries. Lenin believed that the working class, on its own, might not fully grasp the complexities of the struggle against capitalism and imperialism. Hence, he saw the need for a vanguard, a group of committed individuals with a deep understanding of Marxist theory and a clear vision for the revolution. The vanguard party's main role was to serve as a catalyst for the revolutionary transformation. It would provide leadership, strategic planning, and ideological direction to the broader working class movement. Lenin envisioned the vanguard party as a vanguard in the truest sense, an avant-garde force that leads the charge and sets the example for the masses. Principles of democratic centralism, balancing unity, and freedom. Democratic centralism, as conceptualized by Lenin, aimed to strike a delicate balance between unity and internal democracy within the vanguard party. It was intended to prevent factionalism, maintain cohesion, and ensure that the party remained effective and focused on its revolutionary goals. Under democratic centralism, decisions made by higher party bodies were binding on lower ones. This principle was critical for maintaining a united front and avoiding fragmentation, especially in times of crisis. However, democratic centralism also emphasized vigorous internal debates, discussions, and collective decision-making within the party. This dialectical approach ensured that decisions were thoroughly examined and policies were subjected to rigorous scrutiny, implications, and critiques. The vanguard party and democratic centralism had profound implications for revolutionary movements. They enabled the Bolsheviks, led by Lenin, to seize power in Russia in 1917 and establish the world's first socialist state. The organizational structure and discipline provided by the vanguard party allowed for swift and coordinated action during the tumultuous times of revolution and civil war. However, these concepts also sparked criticisms and concerns. Critics argue that the strict adherence to party discipline and centralized decision-making might lead to authoritarianism and stifle individual creativity. The implementation of democratic centralism could sometimes suppress dissenting voices and limit the scope for internal diversity of opinion. Legacy and Lessons Lenin's ideas of the vanguard party and democratic centralism left a lasting impact on revolutionary theory and practice. While they facilitated the Bolsheviks' rise to power, their application in subsequent socialist states varied in effectiveness and ethical considerations. The tension between party unity and individual liberty remains an ongoing challenge in political organization and governance. In conclusion, Lenin's vanguard party and democratic centralism were transformative concepts that aimed to channel revolutionary energy, ideology, and organization. The vanguard party's leadership and the principles of democratic centralism allowed the Bolsheviks to navigate the complexities of revolution and governance. However, their legacy is not without controversy, prompting ongoing discussions about the relationship between centralized authority and democratic participation within political movements.